Allah says in the Quran, not equal are the companions of the fire and the companions of paradise. The companions of paradise, they are the attainers of success. Quran 59:20. The verse clearly states that the companions of paradise are the ones who are actually successful. The verse focuses on being successful in two aspects, religious aspect and the worldly aspect. The meaning of being successful in religious aspects refers to a person striving hard in the way of Allah and trying his best to fulfill the mission of Islam by following the Prophet peace be upon him and the companions. The meaning of being successful in worldly aspects refers to a person having enough money to fulfill his needs and live a luxurious life. It refers to a person becoming prosperous in his profession and having respect in the society. Types The following are the various types of success. 1. Not successful in religious aspects and not successful in worldly aspects. For example, son of Nuh a.s. The son of Nuh a.s. was a person who was neither successful in religious aspect nor was he successful in worldly aspects. Nuh a.s. invited him to become a believer and come onto the ship, but he denied to come with him and later on he drowned in the water. As Allah says in the Quran, and Nuh said, Embark therein, in the name of Allah is its course and its anchorage. Indeed, my Lord is forgiving and merciful. And it sailed with them through waves like mountains, and Nuh called to his son who was apart from them. O oh my son, come aboard with us and be not with the disbelievers. But he said, I will take refuge on a mountain to protect me from the water. Nu said, there is no protector today from the decree of Allah except for whom he gives mercy. And the waves came between them and he was among the drowned. Quran 11, 41-43 2. Not successful in religious aspects but successful in worldly aspects. For example, Harun. Harun was a filthy rich person at the time of Musa salam and the Pharaoh. He possessed so much amount of wealth that the keys of his treasure were carried by strong men. He was the paternal cousin of Musa a.s. He became so arrogant due to his wealth that he felt that his wealth is due to the knowledge that he has. He was sunk into the earth along with all his treasures and the house of which he had kept his treasures became his grave. He was destroyed because of his transgression due to wealth. He was a person who was not successful in religious aspects but very much successful in worldly aspects. As Allah says in the Quran, Indeed, Harun was from the people of Musa, but he tyrannized them, and we gave him treasures whose keys would burden a band of strong men. Thereupon his people said to him, Do not exult. Indeed, Allah does not like the exultant, but seek through that which Allah has given you, the home of the hereafter, and yet... Do not forget your share of the world, and do good as Allah has done good to you, and desire not corruption in the land. Indeed, Allah does not like corruptors. He said, I was only given it because of the knowledge I have. Quran 28, 76-78 3. Successful in religious aspects, but not successful in worldly aspects. For example, Zakaria a.s. Prophet Zakaria a.s. performed his duty as a prophet. Despite his feebleness, he went to the religious place daily to deliver his sermons. He was always ready to help those in need in spite of being a poor man. As he had no children, he would worry as to who would carry forward his religious work as the people needed a strong leader. The two important blessings which define a worldly success are money and children and Prophet Zakaria a.s. was deprived from both. He was a person who was successful in his religious aspects but not successful in the worldly aspects. Allah says in the Quran, He said, My Lord, indeed my bones have weakened, and my head has filled with white, and never have I been in my supplication to you, my Lord, unhappy, that is, disappointed. And indeed I fear the successors after me, and my wife has been barren. So give me from yourself an heir who will inherit me, and inherit from the family of Jacob, and make him, my Lord, pleasing to you. Quran 19, 4-6 4. Successful in religious aspects, and successful in worldly aspects. For example, Dawud a.s. Dawud a.s. was one of the mightiest prophets of Allah. After the king Saul was killed in a battle, Dawud a.s. succeeded Saul. The people remembered what he had done for them and elected him as king. Allah strengthened the dominion of Dawud a.s. and made him victorious. His kingdom was strong and great. His enemies feared him without engaging in war with him. He was a just and righteous ruler who brought peace and prosperity to his people. Dawud a.s. also carried out his duty as a prophet and invited people to the way of Allah. Allah. He would spend time to pray to Allah, listen to the complaints of the people and would deliver sermons to teach people about Psalms, the Zabur, the book which was revealed to him. He was successful in both religious aspects and worldly aspects. As Allah says in the Quran, so they defeated them by permission of Allah and David killed Goliath and Allah gave him the kingship and wisdom that is prophethood and taught him from that which he willed. And if it were not for Allah checking some people by means of others, the earth would have been corrupted. And, but Allah 
Allah is full of bounty to the worlds. Quran 2 to 51. Conclusion. Success is what people want and desire, but how people define success is the million dollar question. A Muslim should aim for worldly success, but it should not be his primary objective. The primary objective should be to gain success in the religious sphere and then should aim for success in the worldly life. If one strives for worldly life, he might get it, but he would not gain religious success. But if one strives for success in the religious sphere, then he would be granted religious success and worldly success from Allah. As Allah says in the Quran, whoever desires the harvest of the hereafter, we increase for him in his harvest. And whoever desires the harvest of this world, we gave him thereof. But there is not for him in the hereafter any share. Quran 42.20 Ultimately, one should strive to avoid being in the first or second category and should always strive to be the third or the fourth category. If you are new to our channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get regular updates. If you like our video, then please drop in a like and share the video with your friends and relatives and gain Sawab Ejaria.